Hey everyone and welcome to CounterBuzz. I'm Greg Rosink and today I'm here with John Trutman from uh, Hunter Industries. Well today you brought by the TTS 800 and we wanted to talk about what's new with Hunter Golf Rotors. So can you tell us a little bit about what TTS is and what's new with the Golf Rotors here? Well, TTS 800 is our latest generation of uh, total top serviceable rotors. Um, it's a concept that we introduced to the marketplace in, in the early 2000s. And this is really our latest generation of that product line. And we're really excited about it. Fantastic. Well, with the new product comes new features and new benefits. What are some of the great features and benefits of the new TTS 800? Well, the key here is the expansion of our total top serviceability, which really means everything is accessible from the top. Um, so it's a true no dig solution. What we've done with the TTS 800 is we've uh, enlarged the flange compartment and added new components into it to make it even more user friendly and really just to make the, the uh, superintendent's life easier um, and better. The key to this is, well, we start with a single um, access component, excuse me, I need to open this screw here. So the flange compartment lid has a, um, a spring actuated single point of connection and we have an integrated um, uh, yardage marker available on the flange and that opens up to a large flange compartment that uh, gives us access to the pressure regulator, the this particular model has a two-way module in it that I'll explain a little bit later um, and uh, access to the solenoid for servicing and you know one of the great advantages of this new design is that we can actually turn the uh, rotor off and isolate it from the system and service the components from above without having to uh, isolate the, the piping network um, beforehand. So just another thing to make life a lot easier for the superintendent. Fantastic. So we can get in here and we can access anything that makes this rotor run from inside or from the top of the actual rotor itself. Yeah, and that's even in the flange compartment. We do the, we do the uh, electrical connections inside the flange compartment. And then simple one snap ring pulls this internal assembly out and we have the, the full internal assembly out. And then we have a serviceable inlet valve um, that also comes out, which really opens up the case uh, for, uh, to clear out any debris that gets caught in the pipe. And then we can service the inlet valve and the, um, the, actual, um, the actual screen and seat that are, that are part of this valve. This is a new innovation that's proprietary to Hunter Industries. So your first line of defense with this valve is what we call a filter sentry. Every time that this valve actuates, there's a little device inside of this screen that scrubs up against this, uh, up against this um, filter screen and cleans off any debris or organics that have sort of grown on that, just making it much more reliable and robust in the field. Wow, a lot of great features built into just the valve itself. Yeah. And with the two-way module that you mentioned uh, early on, this is typical decoder technology, two-way type of communication back and forth. That fits in the actual compartment itself, but what are the benefits of having that in there and having a two-way type of communication? Well, what we're finding is that a lot of the, uh, the full renovation, kind of blowing up the irrigation system and putting in a new irrigation system, they're going to a, a two-wire concept, and our TTS 800 with the decoder and head um, option has our two-way module um, pre-installed in the compartment. The connections are made inside of this compartment. You can see there's plenty of room there. And once the lid is reinstalled, we're able to have access um, electronically to that two-way module using a tool that we have called an ICDHP. It gives us the ability to program, the, to do the initial programming of that, and also to do tr a, a tremendous amount of uh, troubleshooting right there in the field. Okay, so we love acronyms here at Hunter Industries. So HP is Handheld Programmer. Yes. So you have actually a device in the field with you that has a six foot lead on it. And all you have to do is put that little cup right on top of the rotor to program that two way module, right? That's correct. Yeah, and as, as a matter of fact, we just, I've just got some, uh, uh, some feedback from a, an installing contractor in Texas that did an entire system, about 1,500 rotors in, and it was a tremendous time saver for them because they were able to install the rotors and then 
when it was time to, to uh, set up the field controllers, excuse me, the, uh, the decoder hub, um, they were able to just go rotor by rotor and uh, program the station count. With some of our competitors, the, the responsibility is really to go to each individual um, decoder, write down a, um, a serial number, and then take that back to a central location. And there's just quite a bit of work to be done back in the office where all of this can be done in the field where um, I think the contractors are more, more comfortable. Okay, and comfortable is good, simplicity is good, Total top service ability, access from the top without having to dig anything is good, right? Yes, absolutely. Less labor, less money, get the golf course up and running and irrigated like it needs to be every day, right? Yeah, our goal is to make the, the superintendent's life better. And um, we've got a lot of feedback from superintendents over the years from our initial introduction of this concept. And we've just been able to take it the next step. And it's our latest generation product. We're excited about it. It's fantastic. So. We've talked about all the amazing features of this product and, and really what we upgraded to it and what we've put into it for simplicity, easeability. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to bring up was that we have the uniformity challenge, which we pride ourselves on the high efficiency of these rotors and the really high distribution uniformity of these rotors. Can you explain what the uniformity challenge is? Yeah, that's a really good question. You know, we've talked about the installability and the maintainability and all those things are really important. Um, but what really matters in the end is the is the performance of the rotor and um, the uniformity of the of the stream that's coming out of that rotor. Um, we have a program at Hunter called the Uniformity Challenge, and um, really anybody's invited to uh, to participate. And what we do is we go to a golf course. Um, and do an audit. Do we put out catchment cups and we, we take um, readings from their existing system on a zone, perhaps a green or, or uh, maybe an approach to a green. And then we replace those same rotors with hunter rotors and um, do the audit again. And what we get from that is some really good data um, comparing what current technology can really bring to a golf course. And, and normally what that does is it, it increases consistency of the turf. It, um, uh, it gives them the ability to save water because now they're not having to irrigate that sort of ununiform area within mm -hmm. the profile. And we take it one step further as we take that data and we put it into a tool that we, that we give to the, to the end user. And that extrapolates savings in water and in power that really turn into, turns into money savings in the end. Um, and that is a tool that they can take to their ownership or their management to really show what the return on investment is on investing in new technology. Um, so this is just one of those situations where we're very confident that we can maybe increase their water savings, increase uniformity, and really just take their golf course to the next level with irrigation. And with that challenge, uh, we have some success stories with that. You were telling me about one a little bit earlier. We we tell our audience what what that was? Yeah, we've done over a hundred of these uniformity challenges, so there's there's quite a few success stories. But one that one that kind of jumps out at me is, of course, in Northern California, that um, really with just limited improvement in in uniformity and performance, really shows a, a substantial improvement in um, one playability and um, in their budget. I mean, the just just the savings alone on uniformity was affording them over an $80,000 a year um, water savings. Um, and that doesn't even include the cost of electricity that it costs to pump that water. So it was really a simple decision for them to make. They did it in phases and um, initially we changed out all the greens and they're seeing playability improvements and consistency and turf improvements on that golf course as well. So some really positive feedback. So we can see that by upgrading to the TTS 800, serviceability is easier. The improved efficiency is really bringing down run times because you're applying the water more efficiently to the plant material. So by reducing those run times, we're actually shortening the amount of time that we have to run the pumps, which are high cost items Absolutely. with a lot of electricity, but also we're saving water, which is also another expensive you know, commodities. So with both of those, I mean, 
the price is only going to go up on the cost of water, right? And Absolutely. it's only going to go up on the cost of electricity. So these are also things that people need to be thinking about when they're looking at a rotor uh, upgrade or advancement on their, on their golf course. Is that right? Yeah, this is really a combination of about six years of investment, uh, of product development investment on our end. And we um, listened to customers and listened to end users and wanted to make sure that th that their needs were heard and that was the maintainability and the uh, accessibility of the components and then we're an irrigation company and um, for us to, to have a, a product that isn't the best in, in performance and uniformity is just not an option for us. Fantastic. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, I just would like to say that um, if, if you are a, a golf course representative or a golf course owner or a superintendent out there let us come to your course and do a uniformity challenge. I think that uh, you would be pleasantly surprised. Fantastic. Thank you so much, John, for joining us today. So take them up on the challenge. Get out there and do the uniformity challenge with them. It's a really great opportunity to see how efficient your system can become. Uh, also, some of the things that we talked about today within the rotor are here in this literature, which we'll have a link to uh, below the video after this. So, Take a look at that. There's a lot of great information in there as well. And thank you all for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode of CounterBuzz.